welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. I'm Chantel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are taking a little mini road trip to the biggest Dollar Tree around my area, which is really not around my area because it's about an hour and a half drive. It's in Baker City, Oregon, and I love this Dollar Tree, and it's a beautiful day for a drive, so Chris and I are going to head out and see if we can find some new things at Dollar Tree uh, for fall. Dollar Tree is in an old grocery store building and so it is just absolutely huge and you can see that there are lots of rows and aisles and it's all actually very neat and clean which is why it makes this one of my favorite Dollar Trees. They have so many items and it's easy to look through. And today I am focusing mostly on looking for fall items, but I will be checking out what other things might be new as well. One thing I noticed is that they have a lot of craft kits for kids. So if you are looking for budget-friendly ideas for activities for kids, then Dollar Tree is the place to check. Loving some of their wall decor, these cute little beaded hanging decor pieces. This sign is cute, Fall Blessings, and I really like these little wall decor pieces as well. Those are really pretty colors together. I like those. And the plaid is really sweet. And these cute little rolling pin signs, those are really fun too. Now's the time to get little pumpkins. I love these right here that look a little bit more realistic and they're a little bit larger little curly tops. These are super cute and they have them in several different colors. I have not seen these little fall hooks before. These are really cute. They have them in several styles. I love all of these different textured pumpkins that they are carrying. They have the sweater pumpkins, they have the braided straw pumpkins, and they even have like the wool felt. And velvet pumpkins as well. I love this little jar. I only see one of them, but this would be great to use as a candle holder or to fill up with something to give as a gift. And look how cute these are. I love these little acorns. These pumpkins are meant to be for Halloween, but you could dress these up for fall. It'd be really pretty. They have a little LED light inside. Another great deal is this 12 inch stacked pumpkin decor for $1.25. Definitely picking up one of these. 
also going to get one of these foam pumpkins because I've got some plans for it as well. And currently this Dollar Tree has no shortage of fall florals. So I'm going to see if any uh, really catch my eye because I do have quite a few at home, but let's see what we can find. So not only do they have a lot of autumn and fall things, but they also have some Christmas items coming out. These bottle brush trees that are sparkly and colored on the bottom are so pretty. You have the glitter on the bottom come in blue, green, and a really subtle pink color that's really pretty. And they also have lots of other styles of the bottle brushes as well. So oh, just a lot of variety to choose from. also getting a lot more craft kits to do with kids. These are a lot of fun for Christmas. This has five kits in it and it's $1.25. This would be great for a kid's party. Dollar Tree has carried paper crafting supplies before, but I have not seen this brand and these items. These were really cute. They had stamps and ink pads and uh, embossed sticker sets and uh, just a really cute line of paper crafting supplies. My favorites were these embossed sticker sheets. These were so cute. They had lots of different styles and the artwork was just really cute. The little pirates, those are cute. I have not seen these little sets of polymer clay in the different colors before and they have the little clay crafting tools. Those are fun. Some other new items I found were these yarn storage containers. And these have the little hole in the top, so you can just thread your yarn through that. And then also they have these little knitting looms. These are great for kids to make scarves and things on. And uh, so I think that's a pretty good deal for $1.25. They also have a lot of new knitting and yarn crafting accessories. I have never seen sea glass at Dollar Tree. This is a really good deal because I bought some off of Amazon um, that was pretty expensive. So this is definitely a good deal. They also have lots of little shells. Those are fun. If you need some good gift items, these are really cute. A selfie 
ring light that's Mickey Mouse. And look at these cute little table lamps. The tail is a light, battery operated. They have cats and dogs and even a turtle. Dollar Tree has carried these boxes of storage containers for a long time and now they actually have basket labels that you can clip on to these or even other types of baskets. There's three in a package. That's awesome. Tucked in over here with all of the plastic wear, I found this great pumpkin tray. This looks really high end and so I am going to pick that up for some fall decor. Before we leave Baker City, I just wanted to show you a few highlights of this historic little town. Uh, if you are ever in Eastern Oregon, be sure to stop by and spend a little time here. If nothing else, just drive around and look at the historic homes and the old buildings and architecture. Take a drive down Main Street. There's a lot of cute little shops and there's some interesting art uh, things to look at such as statues and mosaics and on the left here is the historic geyser grand hotel chris and i have actually stayed here which was a really fun experience they also have a really large city park that's really nice it has a lot of play areas for the kids and great picnic areas, tons of shade. And right across the street is one of the best museums that I have ever visited. So we highly recommend it. It has a lot of Oregon Trail history and just uh, history of the area. So just outside of Baker City is the Oregon Trail Interpretive Center. It is uh, just newly remodeled, reopened just recently. Just stopped to show you the valley and what it looks like. Baker City's up against the mountains over there. It's just a really pretty view and we're going to go show you what the Interpretive Center looks like, but uh, we're not going to be going in there today. They are open daily, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Admission is adults $8, seniors $6, and kids under 16 are free. So it's a great place to come. Very educational and very interesting. So the Oregon Trail Interpretive Center has been closed for a couple of years, but now it is reopened, um, totally refurbished, remodeled, and uh, we don't have time really to go in today and explore, but I did want to just bring you up here and show you what it looks like. Um, it's well worth the time to visit it. And you can actually see the ruts of the Oregon Trail and you can go down and walk on them. They run down through this little pass right through there. And uh, so definitely come and see the Oregon Trail Interpretive Center. Well, Chris and I had a great drive to Baker City, Oregon. It was a beautiful day and a very enjoyable drive. And it was fun to go through my favorite Dollar Tree store. And I did find a lot of fun items. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. But before I do, I want to let you know that I will be using most of these fall items that I picked up today in my next video for some great DIYs. So be sure you're subscribed and let me show you what we picked up today. I already have a lot of fall florals, so I didn't pick up very many of those, but I did decide to grab some of these little bouquets. They have um, kind of a eucalyptus looking leaf a little bit, and these little fall flowers, I think they have kind of a wildflower look, and I just like them because they were unique and different, so I grabbed some of those. I also picked up this little pumpkin that was in the Halloween section and I don't do Halloween DIYs but I thought this would be really easy to transform into just a fall 
uh, DIY. So I liked this a lot because it does have an LED light inside and you do have to put a couple of AAA batteries in there uh, but I just thought that was a cute little pumpkin that will be great for fall DIYs. Another pumpkin I picked up was this styrofoam pumpkin. I have an idea for this to do a pottery barn dupe with, and so I'm really excited to give that a try. I also got some of these pumpkins. I just like how more natural they are. I like the different shapes and colors, and I just think those are so pretty. I also grabbed a couple of these natural pumpkin picks. I have a few that I got last year so I just uh, picked up a couple more of those and then I also picked up one of those stacking pumpkin sets 12 inch stacked pumpkin decor and it has the three pumpkins in there so this is going to be fun to do a DIY with as well and as I said in the store, I picked up one of these pumpkin trays. This just looks so high end to me. It is plastic, but uh, I just love the finish on this. And I think it would make a really pretty uh, table decor uh, dish, pairing it with some florals and some pumpkins. So um, I'm really happy about this find as well. I did go ahead and pick up a couple of those plaid pumpkin fall decor pieces and I am not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing with these. I do have a couple of ideas but I just thought those were so cute. And like I said in the store I grabbed this jar. It was the only one I saw like it and I think I may use it to put a candle in. Another cute way to use this jar would be to put things that you are thankful for on little slips of paper and tuck it in this jar and then read them um, at your Thanksgiving dinner. I did pick up one of these gold tea light holders and I just think those are really cute. Use it as an accent piece for fall decorating. I did get one of these fall signs. This has homemade pumpkin pie recipe. I don't know if that's an actual legitimate recipe, but the sign is very cute. And I got this little Hello Fall rolling pin sign. It might be cute to pair with that recipe sign somehow, so I'll probably play around with that. And the last fall item I picked up was this little thankful hanging decor with the leaf and the two acorns. I will probably disassemble this and use it somehow, but I thought those little acorns were just super cute. Some just generic items I picked up were this planter. I grabbed this because I really love this design. It's a raised design and so um, if you paint this, you'll still have the design. If you want it in a different color, you can dry brush over it and it brings out the design. I really actually kind of like this color, especially for fall decorating. Um, so I grabbed this little planter. I also picked up a pop-up clothes hamper. These are awesome for traveling and I know um, a lot of people like to take them um, into hotel rooms or on cruise ships. And so uh, I use them occasionally when we travel and we needed a new one, so I got that. Kind of boring, but I picked up some batteries that we needed and I just wanted to show you because uh, I didn't realize that you could get this type of battery at Dollar Tree. So we're gonna give these a try and see how long they last. And I did pick up some of the paper crafting supplies and honestly, I don't know why. I couldn't help myself. I don't even do paper crafting much anymore, but I thought these tags were cute for birthdays and that I might make some cards. Um, and they have the little wooden tags in there. So I just, uh, I just couldn't help myself. And these stickers are so cute. I loved these honey themed stickers are gardening. And then these were just so sweet, the 
florals and kind of more, more romantic feel. And then, of course, these little uh, woodland forest stickers. I really like those too. So I will have to find some ways to use those up because it was one of those things that I just couldn't resist. And I did pick up some of these little LED table lamps, the uh, little animal ones. I think these are so cute. And the cashier told me that they work really well. And so I'm just going to take out of the box to show you. We have the little dog. And I did put batteries in these. These take three AAA batteries. And they do give off quite a bit of light. So... Um, I'm really happy with that. And there is the dog and the cat, which I think is the cutest. And there's a little turtle. And I just think that they are all very cute. The little turtle's light doesn't want to stay. So I may have to Oh, it was just a part right here. Okay. But aren't those just so cute? And kids would love those in their room for a little nightlight and, or to uh, look at a book by or just to play with. And for $1.25, that would be a great stocking stuffer or a gift to give um, to a kid in your life. So shoot, I'm not a kid and I love the little kitty cat. I think I'd like to get that as a gift. So um, yeah, I think those are really fun. I did pick up a few of the Christmas trees uh, just because I know that those tend to go pretty quickly and I have a couple of DIYs using those that I know I want to do this year. So I got a couple of the flocked ones and then I got some of the more natural green with a little bit of snow on them as well. And so uh, these I recommend that when you see them, you pick them up because they may not be there. And then the only other Christmas things I picked up this time were the snowflake decor has four wooden snowflakes and they had two designs so I picked up this one and I picked up this other one as well and so um, I can take these apart and use them for DIYs or um, combine them together somehow but I thought those might be good to have on hand. Here is my entire haul from today. I'm really excited about the items that I found. If you enjoyed this shop with me and haul video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. And in my next video, I'm going to be using all of these fall items and many more to create some great DIYs. So be sure you're subscribed and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you to those of you who have stayed till the end. I just wanted to give a little bit of an update and let you know kind of some things that we've been doing and things that have been going on in our life. I'm sure some of you have noticed that I haven't been posting as many videos throughout the summer and uh, that's just because we had life stuff going on. I do plan to post a lot more videos going into fall and the holiday Christmas season. I'm really excited about that um, but I just wanted to let you know some of the reasons why I didn't post as much during the summer. One was just because I wanted to spend more time with family and enjoy some traveling things. Um, the other is my husband Chris has chronic kidney stones and he's had to have multiple surgeries for those. And I just wanted to put this out there to you guys because maybe you or someone you know has been going through something similar. And if so, I'm really sorry because kidney stones are excruciating and um, really hard to go through. And my husband has had hundreds of them. I don't know how he makes it through with those, but, um, if you or someone you know has experienced this and you have found something that has helped you, if you would share that in the comments, maybe it could help my husband or someone else who's watching this video. 
but a couple of things that we have found that have reduced them. One is he has uh, been drinking distilled water and that has helped because we have well water with a lot of minerals. So the distilled water has helped him and then also just some kidney health supplements. And if you are you know, wondering what those are, you can uh, leave me a comment and I can get information to you. Um, it's nothing that I sell or anything. It's just something that we found that has seemed to help his kidney health. So, um, but he still struggles with kidney stones a lot. And so we'll take any, um, any suggestions or uh, things that you have found that have helped you. We'd love to hear those. So please put those in the comments. And um, on a much happier note, we went to Ohio to see our family because we have a brand new grandson and we went to meet him. He was just born three weeks ago. And so CJ has a little brother and he's so precious. And so um, I'm going to put some pictures in here so that you can see uh, him. But we just got back from that trip and it was just such a blessing to be able to go and spend time with family. But now I'm back and getting into full gear for fall and holiday and Christmas DIY videos. So um, thanks again for watching. I appreciate you all. I love you all. Um, and I just am so thankful for all of you. So uh, as I always say when I end my videos, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.